As Charlotte is looking for solutions to its affordable housing crisis, we're taking a hard look at the population that's at the bottom. Mecklenburg County has more than 1,400 homeless people. 15% live on the streets. Reporter Gina Esposito found the effort to help by giving out blankets and clothing could be adding to the problem. Every night in Charlotte, dozens of people sleep on the streets. I done got three tickets because I sleep on this bench. Elisa Lovern told me she has nowhere to go. She's been living outside of Discovery Place on North Tryon for the past six months. She is worried that people are trying to push her out. Because they don't want to sleep on them. Lovern says she has to hide her belongings under benches so police in the city don't take them. Oh yeah, they didn't threw my blankets, my sleeping bag, all my food away because they said I wasn't sitting right here. That cycle is a problem many others face. When shelters are full, people use donated items to set up camp. Some stay near the music factory, others at this area off 9th Street or under uptown bridges. Officer Ross Falkenberry says most of the time he lets them stay there. It falls on us to walk that line of enforcing the law and then the compassion side. Late last year, police were called to deal with this. Nearly a dozen people were camped on College Street between the Urban Ministry Center and Morningstar Storage. It became an issue when tents blocked access to the businesses or were set up too close to traffic. Today, that area is cleaned up. We're told most of the people left here after a woman who used to watch over their belongings got a place to stay. But Officer Falkenberry says some camps get so overcrowded it becomes a code enforcement issue. Several times a year, police, the city, and businesses team up. They give people two weeks' notice, and then the area is cleaned out. We have to be careful uh, of those type of diseases from tuberculosis to hepatitis. Um, when some of these camps, the conditions are horrible. The Mecklenburg County Health Department utilizes a HIV outreach team to check on the homeless population at these local testing sites. Over the past three years, an average of 71 homeless people out of a pool of around 580 tested positive for hepatitis C. Fortunately, there have been no cases of acute hepatitis. Police say they need more resources on the streets to help people like Lovren get help. We need to find alternative solutions to these problems that also often fall back to the police to take care of. In Uptown Charlotte, I'm Gina Esposito, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. In the past two weeks, Charlotte Center City Partners and CMPD launched a new campaign to fight aggressive panhandling near Uptown. They're posting signs discouraging you from giving any money to the homeless or anyone who asks. Instead, they want people to call 211 to connect with a homeless advocacy program.